Hey guys, I'm gonna be, you know, wrapping up the new Super Mario Brothers series review by, you know, taking a look at new Super Mario Brothers U and new Super Luigi U to see which one is better. Now, let's get moving. Hello! Minecraft Lord here. I'll be taking a look at them to see which one is back. Yep, New Super Mario Bros. U is the sequel to New Super Mario Bros. New. It is the sequel to New Super Mario Bros. New Super yeah, New Super Mario Bros. We. Ah, oh, I just. Right. And I'm surprised that they added like New Super Luigi Bros. U. Uh, like I uh, uh, yeah, but the bros crossed off because remember you play you play as Luigi, you can't play as Mario. So um yeah, the main plot is that once again Peach gets kidnapped and Mario and company are flown off to Acorn Plants. And I'm just gonna be holding up the camera. Yeah. Suck. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, and also, there is only one brand new power. And that one brand new power is the one and only acorn mushroom. Yeah, and just like Super Mario World, I mean, it's all one big world. Yep, and it and also it connects, you know, together very well. And the water world is just like a whole bunch of islands. Yeah. And also, there's like the jungle world. There's like the mountains. There's clouds. And you just castle right over there. And with the acorn mushroom, what can you do with it? Well, what you can do with it is that you can glide. And also, and also, if you mess up a jump, you can do this, which gives you like an extra, which gives you like an extra boost. So not only Nintendo has, you know, you know, recycled, you know, old music into the game, but they also added some brand new music as well. Which I really gotta give them credit for because over the years we have been sick and tired of Nintendo reusing the same music over and over again. Luckily, Nintendo has, you know, brought in some brand new music. We have gone over the plot and the power up system. Yep, a brand new character introduced to the series is Nabbit. Basically, he's this annoying character where you have no chance to catch him, so that you can, you know, get the, get, you know, the, you know, the P acorn. And also, what's special about, you know, the P acorn mushroom is that you can, you know, fly for a very long time without, you know, being run out or something. So, did you complete every single level in this game? Yes. Yes, I have. Nice. Oh, there's Nabbit. Oh, there's the little guy. I'm gonna get him. Yeah!
So all you do in this, like, so, what happens if you get nap it? Um, it, what, well, you get the power up. The, the, it's the PA corn. Yeah. And what happens if you fail to catch him? Oh, oh, well, well, he'll either, you know, get away completely, or you have to try it, or, you, you know, have to try it again. God, he's just a little fool. Yeah. Oh, I think he's been taking steroids or something. Oh, oh so you cool. were right there! So, yeah, you probably get the idea of what the P, the P acorn is. And also, after you complete the game, well, I'll, well, I'll show you. Oh. Boss. Yeah. I say those guys are pretty annoying. Isn't this the Dr. Mario theme? Actually, no, it isn't. It's actually like a remix of, you know, one of the Super Mario Bros. 3D. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll show you. First of all, you get the secret island. And what it is, well, I'll show you. Yep, it's that purple telecast thing. And I'll show you. Yep, looks pretty cool inside. It shows you, like, the records. Yep, I used the baby Yoshi's a lot. Oh, and speaking of baby Yoshi's, I forgot to talk about them. Well, each baby Yoshi has its own power. The pink one, which is my favorite, you know, it, it's like used as a hot air balloon. And the blue ones, they shoot out bubbles. And the golden ones, well, they make it, you know, a lot more easier to see what you're doing. When they're like dark levels. Like pitch black. <laughs> yep, this is Superstar Road. Is oh. it like an extra world? Uh, yeah, it's a bonus world. And also, the reason why you see those star point things on those, you know, levels. Alright, who wants chicken and who wants a burger? I'll have a burger. You want a burger, Jackson? Uh, yeah. I want a burger, too. Oops, sorry, that was my mom. Well, anyways, the reason why they have, you know, these star point things is because they didn't collect all the star points. So, these are the only levels that are, that are you know, available to me. And also, and also, um, the propeller mushroom and the penguin, um, mushroom will, will be returned, but you, but when you, but when you get them, well, how you get them is that you have to complete the entire game. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing, but, oh well. I'm giving, you know, this game a 9.5 out, out of 10, well, mainly because, I mean, it's a huge improvement over the new Super Mario Bros. series. Do you agree with me, Minecraft 444? Yeah. Alright, I'll be moving up. I'll be moving along with New Super Luigi U. So you did not complete the Luigi U game? Oh, uh, no. And, and there's a good reason why. First of all, um, I'll show you, like, you know, an example. Um, I'll just, you know, go back to the first world, you know, because that's, you know, the most easiest thing to do. And also, I don't have all the star points there because, well, I'll just show you instead of, you know, explaining everything. Yeah, the world map is very, you know, identical. I'll just get back to the Not the mini mushroom. Yeah. Oh, and also the mini mushroom, you know, returns. The pill mushroom returns and the penguin suit returns. Including the ice flower, mushroom, fire flower, and the star man. And once again, the brand new power the only brand new power up is the acorns. Well, uh, 
Yep, the level is 100 seconds long. Oh boy. So you get like about like up one like not even two minutes. Yeah, not even two minutes. It's like, you two know, minutes is uh 120 seconds. Um, well, well, you know, in Mario games, there's like 300 seconds, so it's usually about like four minutes. So the Luigi Bros is kind of like a little challenge. Yeah. And also, what's brand new with this is that Luigi has this floating jump. Which comes from Super Mario Brothers 2, the original. Which I never had. And also, Blue Renap, Nabbit is a playable character. Well, I'll show you how to do this. First of all, when you like select a level, you have to like press the Z L button. Watch. Look, I'm Nabbit. And also, what's cool about Nabbit is that he's invincible. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, like, could you play multiplayer with Nabbit? Uh, yeah, of course you can. And uh, you could use, like, Nabbit to help you out? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Is Nabbit, like, a little guy in, like, costume? Uh, yeah. What if he was a, like, a wanted toad? Um, I, I highly doubt that, but, but, um, hmm. He was like a toad. Oh, and also, um, what's added in the game is there's, like, hidden 8-bit Luigi's, and I'll show you one right now. See, look, 8-bit Luigi. And the Nabbit flag looks, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. As you see on there. Yeah. And also, if you, like, you know, do multiplayer, it gets chaotic, you know, really fast. Unlike in the Mario version, however, it's not that difficult. I mean, it's a lot of fun. But with the Luigi version, it's so unfair. So like, could you only use the Nabba on the Luigi version? Uh, yes, yes, the multiplayer feature and the single player feature as well. I'm um, given um, the new Super Luigi ring um, a, a 7 out of 10, mainly because, well, the single player experience, well, it's fun, but the multiplayer experience, it's goddamn awful. Well, that's my review, so like, comment, and subscribe.